So grab yourself a cup of coffee, hot tea, or whatever it is you wanna drink because you wanna sit down and relax because this video is super special. My design assistant, Cole, who's worked for me for several years, um, has let us do a tour of her home. And the reason this home is so special, not only is she super talented, this is an older home right off the square of Murfreesboro. So Cole's house, I would call it a classic Southern home, right? 1940s? Mm -hmm. You guys are gonna have so much fun going through this. Uh, real quick though, Cole has worked with me for over three years mm -hmm. and how I got to know her was her mama came in and shopped and then you came in and you bought these two prints mm -hmm. that you'll see in the nursery. Um, she's an Instagrammer, she put them on Instagram and Project Nursery picked her up. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, she's a phenom in the Instagram world. You're gonna have to follow her. But what I feel like catapulted you was this journey of how you and Nick took this house from kind of old and run down mm -hmm. to updating mm -hmm. it. And what I love is how you kept the character of this Thank house. Thank you, that was important to us is not just updating it to you know, make it more mm -hmm. modern, but to update it to keep the original true character of the home. Was that harder to do, to try to keep? Um, a little bit. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's not always as easy to find things that, like light fixtures mm -hmm. and, and all that kind of stuff that stays mm -hmm. with the character. I love yeah. that. Okay, so we're gonna talk more. So without further ado, we're gonna step inside and show you around. All right, I wanna talk about the porch first because that was their biggest project. Mm -hmm. But before we do, I'm gonna, Miss Brainiac is so smart. <laughs> She's got these beautiful ferns. Tell me about your idea and how you came up with it. So my dad actually came up with that idea. We like big ferns. I gave you credit. <laughs> He's a smart man. He is a smart man and a love bug. Because we like the height. Yeah. But with the height comes that plastic container. Yeah. And so to hide the plastic container, he used two great vine wreaths. That's so smart. To stack on top. I love that. Yeah. Okay. So tell me about the porch. That was like the biggest project you started with, it right? It was. It was the biggest and the most mm -hmm. time consuming. Okay. Um, originally, everything was plastic and vinyl, and we took that down and did wood beadboard and did a haint blue ceiling. So this is real wood. Mm hmm Okay. It's real wood. And is it true, I've heard that people do the blue to keep the birds out. It is the birds and the bugs. Bird and bugs. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need that. Okay, yeah. that's beautiful. So then, what did you do? Um, but then we replaced the front siding. Um, we trimmed out all the windows and the doors. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, and Nick made the the shutters, and we added a little iron piece at the bottom to give it a little extra touch, like as if to keep them back. Oh, that is beautiful. Um, and we also, we did the fans, so originally they were white and they were falling apart. So Nick screwed them in a little bit tighter okay. and we spray painted them okay. with black Rust-Oleum paint. Oh, don't you love so Rust-Oleum spray paint? It made a huge difference. For pennies on the dollar, you yes. didn't have to get new fans. Yes. I love that. Tell yeah. me about your lanterns. These are stunning. Um, those are actually from Lowe's. Perfect. Oops. Yep. Those are, I mean, that really just flanks the whole front door. Mm -hmm. Was the front door original? To the house? It's not. We actually did a different front door. Okay. We did something with a window so we could have a little extra lighting oh, in the yeah. living room. That's beautiful. Okay, yeah. well, let's go inside. Yeah. Like, this is so amazing. Wow. Okay, this living room. First of all, this right here just makes me so happy. <laughs> 
I don't know if it's the fireplace or the sconces or the chairs, but I saw in one of your stories, guys, they accidentally found this fireplace. Please tell us how that, I mean, how do you, I mean, really, I accidentally find change. Yeah. You find a fireplace. <laughs> tell me how that happened. Um, Nick, my husband, was down in the basement, and he saw a brick, and he right. said, I think, you know, there's something behind this Because this wall. was sheetrock. Mm-hmm. It was. And so we came upstairs, and we started tapping around, okay. and he said it sounds, it, it doesn't sound hollow. Something's behind there. <gasps> and so we started pulling back drywall, and we noticed that it was a fireplace. That is so. amazing. And so, <laughs> and you have said this is one, I know the porch was like the, one of the bigger projects, but this was a major project. Mm -hmm. That was an unfun project. Yes, this is a big mm -hmm. one. It was really messy. Yeah. Um, we didn't really think it through the whole way because there is no longer a chimney. So this is a non-working fireplace. Oh, okay, okay. But um, I think it just adds a little bit of warmth and texture to the Oh, it doesn't add a little bit. So <laughs> it adds a lot. And so you painted it, and then I saw on Instagram that you guys bought these corbels se separate. Nick made the corbels. Oh, he, he made, made the corbels. Uh-huh, he did. And then he made the... Um, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that is just incredible. Mantle. And then the sconces kind of have an old world French feel to them. Mm -hmm. I love that. And then your picture is just, this is a happy room. Thank this is a you. happy room. I love oh, this. Oh, thank love you. Love this. In the other part of her room, she's got, I love how she's put the sofa up against the long wall. And look, she didn't feel like she had to have end tables that matched. These are, she's got a tall lamp on one side and then a chest of drawers on the other. I love the way she's played this out. Now, one of the things, when you go through this home, be sure to look at the way Cole has utilized art. She chooses the sizes wisely, it's unique, and it's absolutely spot on. When you round the corner and you hit the dining room and you see the kitchen, I, I'm sorry, it just kind of takes your breath away. It's so beautiful. She kept with such neutral colors so that what she did choose stood out. These mirrors, she, her husband made them. Are they not stunning? Fit the wall perfectly. The dining room table was made by her husband's sister. Over here, Cole's got a simple, beautiful buffet with two buffet lamps on top. This painting, yes, Cole painted that herself. I know, the talent is oozing out of these, this couple. So if the kitchen is the heart of the home, your home has a big heart. I love this kitchen. It is so beautiful. Tell me a little bit about it. You guys did a lot of work in here. I know. So tell me what your first project was when you first started. Our first started. project was painting the cabinets. They okay. were um, solid oak, so they were they were good, strong cabinets. They just right. weren't in great condition. They had been previously painted and they were a bright yellow. So Because cabinetry have, can be so expensive to replace. It can. We, yeah, we so expensive. that. Yeah, and okay. thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. But um, So to be a little more cost effective, we went ahead and just painted it. And okay. We used a, a thick chalk paint. What did we you used, use and what color? We used Annie Sloan chalk paint in okay. the color French linen. Oh, so pretty. Thank you. Okay, I so, love that. And we painted all the way up to the trim to make them look a little bit higher to kind of keep your eyes going up. Okay. Um, Did you guys add the trim at the top of the cabinets or was that already there? That was there? already there. So you painted that as well to give it a, I love that. And tell me, tell me about this um, unique the, backsplash. The backsplash. So we had started with um, like a subway tile backsplash. Mm -hmm. and we stepped back to look at it and thought it looked just so incredibly modern. It didn't feel really right with the rest of the yeah. house. And so we took it all down and we went back to square one and we decided to go with a B board and we painted it the color of the wall. So just to sort of give it okay. a texture mm -hmm. without making it, you know, pop right. and stand out and feel shiny. Um, but yeah. Well, yeah. I love it. I love it because it's very unique. And you know what's funny about that when you said the subway tile, because, you know, farmhouse is so popular. I mm -hmm. love it. Um, you would have thought that that would have worked right. in here. Mm -hmm. But given that this is a more classic southern home, it just didn't, mm -hmm. it just didn't work. Yeah. And sometimes we all get in projects where we think what we're yeah. doing is going to work mm -hmm. and it doesn't. Right. Um, but I'm amazed at how this turned out. And then, of course, the way you decorated it. Was the sink original? The sink is original. That is mm -hmm. stunning. 
Well, and then also what I love, did you guys do a new light fixture? We different? did. We did a different light fixture and Nick put in can lights. And put in can lights. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you guys come through the back door when you get mm -hmm. home. We do. I love this little happy area. Do you think that was their Eden kitchen before? Because it's really small. I don't, I don't really know. Maybe okay. at, at one time our pantry was where the washer and dryer were. And we only know that because okay. there is um, the, the, hookups there right. for it. So. Okay. Um, I, I love that. Yeah. And right then the other thing I noticed too, the glass doors on this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you guys add that? We did. We found that on Marketplace. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you know what that does? It gives that depth yeah. where your eye just doesn't stop right there. Yes. Okay. Well, this is just one happy little kitchen. Well, thank I love you. it. One of the things I first noticed on Cole's Instagram was a photo of this with the exposed brick. I don't, I don't even have words for it. I just think it's the most beautiful thing ever. And then again, she just used some simple art. Here's a small wall. She used three little small pieces and it fits perfectly and the wood looks so beautiful up against the brick. We are in the playroom of her sweet little boy. This is, first of all, the most organized playroom I've ever <laughs> I know you picked up for me, but seriously, I know how organized you are. And I'm looking at this going, everything is so perfect. But it is beautiful in here. And I'm telling you, when I look at this room, I even see an older, uh, how do I want to explain that? It's almost like I'm looking in a room from 1950s. The toys, the wood toys, the books. Oh. You know, I don't see a lot of electronics. It's almost like you stayed within the character of the house, oh. even in the playroom, <laughs> because it's just happy in here. Oh, Every room we go you. into is happy. So does he play a lot in here? He does. This is his main play area. Okay. Um, I love that. Well, thank you. I love that. And you kind of, it's, it's great to kind of have a place to kind of Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Brush everything mm -hmm. and shut the door. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. We're in Cole's master bedroom, painted Nimbus, mm -hmm. Sherman Williams. It's a very soft color. You kept all of your colors very muted. Mm -hmm. And I like that because to me that all of the things you have chosen in the room, are they stand out. Mm -hmm. The paint color isn't the drama. Mm -hmm. Your choices of furniture and accessories are. Mm -hmm. And it's just calming. I love this room. I love this. And I love the two pictures above your bed. Thank you. So small bathroom makeover. That's a 10. I love this. Again, this was another picture that caught my eye on your Instagram. <laughs> so tell me what all you did. There was like three or four layers of flooring. There was. Um, oh so we took my up goodness. The... I've heard of three or four layers of wallpaper, but not three or four layers of flooring. Yes. It was, it was very interesting to get down to the very bottom layer. And what was interesting is the very bottom layer was white mm -hmm. penny tile with dark grout, oh, which is so interesting that's because what's... that's back. Yes. I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> It's so timeless. It's, um, but anyways, it we couldn't. There's no way we could have used that. There were just, it was just years. Two, of, yeah, yeah. So we ended up doing a, a light, um, like a marble tile. Love it. Um, and Nick did the board and batten at the bottom just to give it a little bit of character. Mm -hmm. Um, the we, sink. Where'd you get the sink? I love that. Was that was from Lowe's. Really? It, the, the base of it was a dark wood, and I painted it the <gasps> same color as the walls just to kind of keep you? your eyes That's going. Did you? That's so smart. I didn't realize that. Because it's such a small bathroom, I didn't want anything to really stand out. And your faucets? That was from Marketplace. Really? Mm -hmm. It was. Man, was I gotta start place. shopping there. Well, it's beautiful, Cole. It's a 10. This is her little boy's nursery. These were the two pictures I was telling you about earlier um, that got her popular on Project Nursery. <laughs> Tell me about this room. What's it painted? What color is it? This painted? is Nimbus. This is the same color. This is the as same our color. Isn't it weird? You can go room to room and yes. lighting changes the it paint does. color. It's it so does. happy in here. This is just, again, it's just timeless and classic. I love this. So we're in her husband's office upstairs. First of all, this is like the neatest office I have ever been in including mine um, they kept a uh, desk facing the door I love the artwork Cole chose this artwork actually from our store but oh, I just love it. it's an oversized frame with a small sketched art I just love sketched art um, they replaced the light fixture and then what I want to show you is they added this trim on the walls it just gave it a little bit of character and a little bit more texture Okay, this was one room I couldn't wait to show everybody. I know this is probably the master bedroom, but it's your guest bedroom. Mm -hmm. I would come and stay and not leave. This is the most <laughs> peaceful room. Tell me a little bit about it, including this unique feature that your husband did. 
So Nick made this, um, originally the ceiling dropped a lot lower and he um, cut it down and then wrapped the um, remainder of it okay. in that wood and we just stained wood. it and kept it um, a natural finish. Oh, I love it, I love it. And the bed, tell me about this. This is so beautiful. The bed is um, from my grandparents Okay. several years ago. So it's special and beautiful, mm -hmm. I love yeah. that. You know, I grew up in an older home and what's funny is, the sinks were lower. We would open the door and the handles were lower. And I'm like, were we a lot shorter back then and littler? <laughs> like you're talking about the ceilings. Yes. I don't know, but our Victorian home, you know, my dad would have to lean down to look in the mirror. Oh. I don't know, isn't that weird? Yeah. But that reminded me when you said that. Okay, this was the very last thing you mm -hmm. have done recently. Mm -hmm. And yes. this would be the master bathroom. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, this was another big project, and we actually, this is one that we didn't take on ourselves. Mm -hmm. We um, we had a company do it for us. Oh, isn't that um, nice? Yes, it was so <laughs> nice. Yeah. It was so nice. Yeah. Um, so they pretty much redid everything. They redid the it's shower. It's beautiful. And, thank and you. I love what I love is the woodwork around the bathtub. They did. They trimmed out the bottom okay. around the bathtub to sort of mimic the downstairs bathroom. I love it. This is beautiful. Cole, I want to say thank you so much for letting us do this video of your home and sharing oh. it with a lot of people now. <laughs> um, but I know everybody's going to love it. And I just love, it's the happiest home. Oh. You can feel it when you walk in. You guys have worked so hard and I'm so proud of you. And so thank you so oh, much for doing it. Oh. Well, listen, you guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have more videos out later. Hit that bell. It'll tell you when I have a new video out. Everybody stay safe and stay healthy.